Baiti makosi na se indonjo ini kamangu lungi le maichila. Um, welcome everybody and thanks for joining me. I was actually waiting for questions and seemingly angatoli questions. Instead, people have been saying they're waiting for me. So, what topic would you like me to talk about? Um, yeah, what topic would you like me to talk about? Um, I'll be waiting for your questions. You can shoot. Today, guinea pigs cut sadly, and yeah, I'm gonna try and respond to as much questions as possible. Um, Sabona, I hope you're good. Thanks, Putvosi, for joining us. Ashley, thanks for joining us also. Okay, I'm waiting for questions. Can you guys come up with questions so that okay, uh, we can start? No questions. Ah, then I can just somewhere close most the con close this live session if there are no questions. This lerato, si abingelele makosi in Togoza. Um, Togozan, 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 Togozan. Can we have questions? No one is willing to ask. It's too new. Okay, I'm gonna take. It. Uh, Sis Lindy, where she's talking about is tunwa. Um, is tunwa. Should I explain is tunwa, or what do you want me to explain? What do you want me to? Or is tunwa skupuru All right. Now is tunwa. Um, let me just switch off this thing. I think our background is making noise. Okay. Is tunwa basically. Um, we have his tunya sasagang kulungkulus kamtali straight from le pezulu ezuluin. So, with uh, often we call it ingilosi or an angel. So, often with his tunya, um, first and foremost, it requires a church, and um, because it's not doing especially, um, it's not all gamoya like your your Zion, like your postal, like your um, what do you call? Postal and yeah, all the churches about seven to so more. I could wait by they allow you to prof to give you prophecy. So those churches they actually help in a kuliseni is tunwa. And again, going a manzen it also helps. Um, again, going in tabin it also helps. Kupul is tunwa. Yes, as much as we have amapolo, um, for. More than anything else, the church gamoya it helps a lot. Or alternatively, finding a band whereby they are experiencing is tunwa, then they will actually take you through the process of upagamisa is tunwa. All right, and uh, the osis. Let me see. There's now a lot of questions coming through, so okay, I'm gonna just try and see. Do you know that when his puyo so go born or maybe I'm a pupo, sis Esther. All right. His puyo comes differently for different people. So, as soon as you start dreaming of things as in Zaga lives, as soon as you start dreaming of, uh, for instance, snakes also, as soon as you start off, uh, dreaming of water, you start dreaming of yourself flying, then you must know you have a gift. Definitely, there's no running away from it. And then obviously with snakes, it also differs. Like if you dream of a black snake, then definitely must know is it Italian. Because often with a black snake, it will actually chase you from from your dreams. So you must know then what you have is it. And then if like you dream like of a python, a big, huge snake, then you must know what it is often it's actually um aligned with your ancestors so yeah that's basically what it means and then for some it, their gift actually comes through um visions some um it comes through like hearing sounds voices hearing um um sounds in the in the vein. you know sometimes you'll hear of water then you must know it definitely um you have a gift so it's at times you find with me we still in the the first pages of that gift would be cool. Um, that's why again, as time goes on, you'll have to then make sure that you follow through the process. Um, for some, they start getting sick, and um, often with your Western doctors, 
they can't actually pick up the problem is simply because of that sickness in most cases is aligned with having a gift. Ngabaoguti, um, like I remember with myself, uh, there was a point in time I was actually in a hospital for like three to four weeks, yeah, about a month, and they couldn't find anything. My BP was, was going up, like everything, my entire body was just giving me um, wrong lentils are readings or i wouldn't say wrong but yeah my readings were just stingy somehow uh i stayed in hospital they did all kinds of tests they couldn't find what was the problem um i remember they ended up recommending me to a nutritionist they thought maybe that was the problem but they couldn't find anything even after and all all that was was the fact that so it gave um, it gave that impression which like I was sick and yet I wasn't sick at all. It was actually just the gift. So, all right. Sis Bunky Mokwena, first time watching. Thank you. It's actually the first time we're doing this. And then let me just go up. Uh, okay. Guys, please, please, please. Um, I, in terms of pharma consultations, hence I, I actually make made lentils with it. This won't be actually about my consult uh, my consultations. Um, this video live session is just for me to try and ans ask uh, answer rather my um, questions so that we can help uh, people about good day. Yes, okay, let me see. I'd like to know how to start praying with candles. This is Lucy Masango. Okay, with candles, often I always say use a white candle, especially when you're starting, because at times you do not know, because uh, we'll tell you use maybe blue, white, green, but now what's the point of using those candles if you do not understand them? So it actually helps for one to start using a basic candle. Then, if we are to go through steps of a candle, then maybe we'll maybe we'll introduce like a blue candle. Uh, okay, let me just explain with me how my candles came about. Um, I had a vision that was back in 2013. I just had a vision of um, a robot, like a traffic light, and then I had a voice saying, "These are your candles." Then you're going you're going to add another lento. Um two more colors then i was like hmm? after a while the voice came back the visions came back now when it came back those candles were placed in in an order so there was there was a green candle then it was explained green um what it actually does or it means um it invites um that is then according to my um guide my spiritual guide because everyone has a guide okay so with me that's how it actually came with the green candle it would actually help to invite um and then um also for me if for instance i were to go somewhere and i wanted the verification if in Lelayam was actually okay so the green actually meant it would give me a go ahead or not to go. So as soon as my candle will start blowing a cool f f a fire, you know, the light would actually go um, Lendoza pretty high, then I would know I'm not supposed to go. But if the candle early green is still constant, then I know it's, wherever I'm going, it's actually safe. And it actually helps, especially if I have to go and go better. So that candle often would actually tell me if where I'm supposed to go on that day is actually safe or not and then there's a blue candle which uh often with blue it stands for water blue water if even if you can go back to even each jazz you know because often with amakala especially in zion amakala's um if you find in town a color ye wool um each jazzy and your candles often they go hand in hand so it makes sense for for us to say if you you have a lentils are early blue like you each has a little blue for 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 instance uh, for us to say the blue one is actually for your water spirits um and also it depends again what you're praying for um 
the blue one will stand for that, for the water. And then if, again, it's, it's the water spirit and again the spirit itself. So you, you're able to distinguish or check if someone's spirit is actually okay or not. If that candle is blowing funny, then you'll know that mm, this person who just walked in, their spirit is not okay. Um, if the, the candle is actually okay, then you'll know it's okay, this, this person is actually, uh, their spirit is okay. And then we'll move on to the yellow one. The yellow one um, is actually a cautious candle also, it's a candle for light. And also, uh, from my side, again, it comes from Istunwa Sakabu Mama. Okay, I'll actually explain it to you. Istunya Sakabu Mama and Sakabu Baba. Because even the blue candle, the blue candle stands for Istunya Sakabu Baba. And then the yellow one stands for Istunya Sakabu Mama. And then, um, which other candle? The red candle. Often people use that candle a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Now, with the red candle, it's actually for danger. You know, ranger mean, red means danger, red means stop. So often, if I were to use that can, that candle, I'd want to know if maybe there's umoya that's actually affecting me. If there's something I need to be careful of, the, the red would actually tell me. Um, if there's a spirit that is actually attacking me, then that candle would actually um, kind of help me. And again, it helps too. Because with candles, you can actually pray in, in good and also you can use them for bad. So it, all, it, it actually depends with what a person is trying to do. And I would say this because you'd find a lot of people would actually use red candle for bad things. Now, there's one thing people do not know or understand, when you start using things for bad, when you start praying for bad more often, I always say there's a thin line, there's a very thin, thin, thin line between Okuba Umtandazi and being Umtagati. There's a thin line. So as soon as you start praying for bad, Already you're trading on being um target. It, it's as simple as that. And then when you're praying for light, then obviously, you know, um, you mean well, you mean good. So I always say, especially when you're angry, let's try and avoid not to pray. Rather, wait up until we a little bit calm. Then you can start praying, you know. You don't want to keep on cursing people. Fine, let's move on from the red candle. Um, the purple candle. Um, that was a candle that came, gave me a while back. After all the other candles came, that was um, the purple candle. Now, with the purple candle, basically what it actually meant was, I would say, a candle, of course, is reality. Purple is actually reality. So it actually, uh, for me, it, it helps to invite Itunyo Azami from that land or, um from that category, Emma Kosini, you know. So basically, those are the main candles. Oh, not forgetting white candles. So with white candles, when they came with with all the set of candles that I was using, there were actually two candles. So I was told, would you, if I'm going to place two candles, um, both white candles, rather, two of them at the same time, it means one would stand for Itunya uh, or Abanbakabu Mama, and then the other one will stand for Abanbakabu Baba. So, again, with candles, depend is it actually depends on how you actually using those candles. And often with spiritually gifted people, you will hear with Bazuti, um use the candle Eli Eli White, Eli Yellow, Eli Blue. We we love that three set. Now, what what do they mean? Because often people are not told exactly what they mean. So what they mean, Oguti. The blue one will stand for Akabu Akabu Baba. The yellow one will stand for Amadilos Akabu Mama. And then the white one is Omela is Tunwa. So basically, that is the white one is actually um, the core whereby Ishanganisa Amadilos from both sides. Miss Tunwa. Basically, that's what it means. And then I think I'm going to move from the candles now. Artist Bangiti is the another. Question. I'm um, struggling to find questions. Yo, 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 my message is now like what thousands. Um, I'm not finding another question. Let's see. 
Pepsi. All right, Putabo. I'm gonna qualify a person in terms of people shooting them, but they keep on missing. Uh, what does that mean? So basically, when you dream of people shooting you, people chasing you, um, all it means Uti Unizita. There's people after you. So if they miss, meaning your enemies are not able Uguti Bagutole. Basically, that's what it means. And then if it's the other way around, you're the one that's doing the chasing, Ushayabanto Wenzan, which means you are actually winning your spiritual battles. Basically, that's what it means. Um, always dreaming of an unfinished house. In most cases, you'd find Uguti, like an unfinished house, it's, it's, it's this you find in Oguti, your life is incomplete. Corner is in Toxamelu Zenz, it is in Toxamelu Uzpete. You might find maybe in this case, uh, this is Esther Brown. Okay, yes, this is Esther Brown. Mm. Okay, in this case, in, okay, when I was avoiding to do part, part readings and whatnot, but in this case, there is your spiritual journey that you still need to complete, that you still need to follow. And um, picking up with it, there's a sense of being in denial with your gift somewhere, somehow. So, that you still need to complete. Um, and plus, on top of that, your gift comes in two, which means um, you, you gifted both Ngogomoya uh, plus yeah so yeah your gift comes in too so that's another part that you still need to work on yeah in order for your life to be complete right now life is still a little bit yeah i connect do things as pretty so yeah i was just avoiding this consultation okay i'm moving on what does what does it mean when you dream of pure clean water and a big white snake? Now, um, dreaming of pure clean water, which means it's tuna, less on a corner, but go by tuna. Again, it means in Gelazakozi Zimthope, dreaming of a white snake also in Gelazakozi Zimthope, which again it can be interpreted to go to you need to have, um, or maybe you have your paramises in Dozako, a manzin, when it's tuna as a manzin. Uh, yeah, in a student as a manzine. So often, like for instance, today I'm wearing a lint down with this rope. Yes, it's Zioni. So often in a student, a plain white lint or a plain white, a tie white, um, or in a white, or a pizza white, they stand for ingilosi, which is just the pure student, just like it kindly as I've explained. So basically, that's what it means. So you dreaming of that, which means that you still need to, um, you still need to go through process being initiated a manzin. Basically, that's what it means. So you'll have to find uh, a place where Bazok Caesar with his tun asako. Um, How does one protect their home until they get the help from a healer? Oh, that's a good question. Now, how can I put it? Simply put, with a house, um, you can never, you can never say, um, Oguti, this one formula is going to work or this other formula is not going to work. So basically, Right now, I can say, take this and pray for it. Um, Tati Twaili Prof, like, would always uh, see on, on groups where I will give a solution to say, uh, Tati Chili, see Tata in, and use it. Now, at times, you might find, Uti, at that particular time, taking um, Tlambilu Chilis, and you find Guno Tegoloshi, I'll take Tegoloshi, for instance. Those little mages, they get irritated a lot. As soon as you start or she is something that is foreign, they're gonna give you hell. When you learn um, demons whereby you cannot just take, um, in, like you, can, you can't just take 
uh, whatever that you find in Lini and say, I'm trying to chase them away. Yes, you can pray. Uh, prayer, I, I believe in prayer more than anything. You can pray. Uh, you can pray. That's, that's what I'm going to say. It's, it's as good as saying a person is sick and what do they have to do before they can go to a doctor, you know? It's, it's basically that. So the question is, what's affecting them? Why are they sick? They're sick from what? Because if a person is sick from cancer and now we've given a solution of saying, you, you know, uh, or a person is suffering from sugar and we're saying, you're going to be better, you know? So other things, it's actually that, would see one has to establish with what is the actual problem prior to giving a solution to the problem. Um, and I can make an example. There's, there's a whole lot of land and advice to say when, when a person is saying it was as, as Kanye or this, and then uh, you'd find would see, the solution that will be given is Pasha and pray. Pasha and pray. Now, First thing first, what is the actual problem before we pass? What if your problem is actually from umsam wagini, which means kuno munto kanga yo from gini, kuno munto pendule la madlozi, which means if if someone has cast umsam wasekaya, and then when you go your pass, things will actually get worse from where they are, they were. So every time you pass or every time you do umsebins, things will actually get Further worse. In other families, you'd find the good as soon as, but by a for instance, someone would die. So it's those things whereby one has to consult and be sure about them before um, going through that step. So, yeah, I'm going to move. Uh, uh, okay, Faro. Okay, I'm going to go through Faro. Faro was in Egypt. <laughs> All right, so let's see. A constant headache and dreams sitting among traditional healers performing rituals, dreaming of crocodiles and rivers, sometimes attacking people, going for consulting, but them telling me they can't see anything. I wonder why they can't see anything. Anyway, basically what it means in your case, um, you have a gift which, which still has to be unlocked. And your spiritual guide is actually, or your spiritual animal rather, is actually um, a crocodile. And not just that, you might, we, we might actually go as far as your surname, you might find what you actually related to um, um, your crocodile, what do they call them? Is it Mugwena? I'm not sure. Bagwena or Mugwena, something like that. But you'll correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, and find that go to Aban Bagin, Gashas Aban Baganguena, you know? So that's why you'll dream of crocodiles. So, yes, as long as they're not attacking you, as long as they are attacking other people, which means they are actually defending you. So you still need to follow through your gift, which might actually come or show itself as time goes on. Yeah, that's why you would actually dream of yourself sitting with traditional healers, performing rituals. And often, another thing, Often with people who are spiritually gifted, it depends with a gift you want to. Sometimes you find with the, uh, the way other people are actually gifted, they can go to a healer and then a healer cannot see anything beyond that person. Simply meaning Uti, that person might not be helped in that place. It will take a special healer or it will take a, a, a special person whom is actually above that person who's coming for consultation to see what is actually happening. So we cannot, um, we cannot help everybody. Every healer in Umuntu, why you angam Caesar? So basically, it's actually that. So let's move uh, once. Okay, um, second question from the list. Once Ubagwa Zuguti Unubizo Unisimo Savanta Batala, what next? How do I make a connection to get further communication from them? Now, what kind of communication do you need, says Delphine? Because 
at times is we, we always saying we want a con communication we want a communication um but what kind of a communication do we need not all the time would you find Uguti would get a communication from Abandabadala and Nakona depending with the gift that you have. Um, for instance, if Usebin is this tune, right? um, angel, straight, often you might find yourself not even seeing Abandabadala. Instead, your, 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 land, your, your communication will come in thoughts. So you'd, feel, you, you'd actually have a thought, maybe this one, two, three, or you have a feeling of one, two, three, or some would actually call it a sixth sense, which I'm sensing this thing. And every time when I'm thinking of something, it actually happens. So it's Tunya, that's how it communicates. It's like it's Tunya, that's how it communicates in most cases. It just comes from your head. Um, so yes. When, when it comes to that, you might find Uguti, you do not um, find yourself connecting more now and Tabatala. So, um, Uguti, as time goes on, when now the gift of Mishami Segmelek Parame Amangu Nigu, Segmelek Parama Umzuza, Mishami, or Amandao, then maybe that's when the colors of Pupu Kokonga Mazu, Pupu Mamunga Mazu, turning off a child, Unga Mazu, you know. Uh, you might find Guti that's actually a spiritual guide from ancient years, donkey years ago. So it, it actually depends. So you shouldn't stress yourself, Guti. I'm not com I'm I'm not getting um through or I'm not uh, dreaming of um cool. It actually depends on the gift that you possess. Or at the time Guti gift yako email will be because you might find currently um is Tunya Sako uses pagame. So you cannot expect yourself Uguti be in the same communication or be in the same WhatsApp group with people whereby ba pagamiso bongo maga cool. It 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 doesn't work like that. Uto guto muni mshamba pagamu bongo maga cool, pagamu munda uga cool, pagame amako siga cool. So when when that happens, maybe the transition for them Uguti ba kupul mshamba is tonya. It will take maybe the next coming five years or ten years. It it depends. As pure anga So the as the sooner we accept that, then the better. Okay, now I think I can move on. I think I've explained a lot. Um, okay. What was I in? Ask him. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, private I dream of schools and going somewhere but never reach the place. So, basically dreaming of a school. Um... You might find which maybe you finish school and then you start dreaming of yourself going back to school. You dream of your high school or your college. So basically what it often means is So when you start dreaming of yourself going to school or writing an exam again, which means already you need to go your paganisa is in those or in those mean. So that's basically what it means. So as you are not reaching the place of um, where, where you're actually going, that school. Basically, it means Auga totally in the way you need to finish or do is in Dozako Zegamoya or your gift to be initiated. So it's actually an initiation school. Um, that's what it means. Hi, I'm cool. What does it mean if you dream of someone poking you with needles? This Valencia. Okay, if someone is poking you with needles, it, 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 it simply means that person is doing harm to you. That person, if I can use the word to go to Tagati Pedalop, um, you'd find people putting needles on Amakangela. It's actually poking or lento, it's, it's destroying somebody else. So when you're dreaming of a person, I went to Njalup Tagati, needles, razors, knives. To destroy a person. That's what it means. Um, since Clementine would like to know, since my mom passed away two years back, I never did any cleansing, so I would like to know. Okay, with cleansing, uh, when a person is paid, again, it depends 
with with family to family first thing first before you can actually go to a healer um, because you'd find certain families they do their own traditional way or yeah traditional way of cleansing so other families would find with buckets and embozy other family yeah they will slaughter a goat to cleanse a family from a person who passed away others they use a cow to cleanse a family you'd find if they're using a goat it doesn't it doesn't gel it it doesn't work so it depends with family to family and then when you come to then when you come to healers um yeah other families they actually even use just an alu um it depends with family and which is scenes from the way back traditionally what they've been doing and then when you come to healers then it's obviously a different way of doing things um with healers we we cleanse differently so i can't really say which this is this is, there's no standard way so yeah basically that's that um this isn't being but what does it mean when I dream of my late mom on the dream she's sick all the time? So when you dream of someone who's sick all the time, who, who has passed away, I like to believe. I think you, you, your statement, I pay like, Oh, yeah, yeah, your mom has passed away. So when you dream of a person who, uh, who, who has passed away, but they're constantly sick, which means that person, bam trebulile. So basically, bam mental tutela. Basically, that person is pretzake is not at rest. So you'll definitely have to find a healer who can actually come and um, help with Elendo with um, putting that person to rest. I can make an example again. You'd find a person has passed away. Let's say maybe five, ten years ago. Then you trim off that person. Um, going at the funeral, okay. You know, when you're dreaming of a person being buried um, 10 years later, it only means that was actually the time that person was supposed to pass away. So, which means during the time they passed on, their spirit wasn't resting. Only when they actually learn to use that, when you dream of that person being buried, only then their spirit is actually laid to rest. That's basically what it means. Um, so basically, um, 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 what else yeah he buyed you know, spider webs he buyed often go by street often go by street so, so if ubani woman in dwelling lini or is not paying you go by pela yeah even cockroaches and lini a whole lot of them you must know is street or so you definitely need to find someone i'm actually even getting into you know if thinking of me i'm a pillar yeah so when yeah when when you have that at home then you must know definitely is treat well so to destroy you so you definitely need to find um it's either you find a healer or because i know one thing certain even if you can use um your doom for loma pella all these lentils that they're not gonna work they're not going to work. They actually need someone who can actually help you. A healer would actually help you because he's into his twin yellow. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I can take for for instance, um, there's Ushongo Lolo uh, Center Pete, for instance. So, you might see a whole lot of them in your house. Or you start getting itchy, so it's three to less. So, so it definitely, it's something that you need to get help from a healer. Uh, isn't it isn't though you cannot actually even do them at home, unfortunately. Oh, sorry. Okay, next question. Okay, hi Lungi, this is Zandile. I mean, I wanted to know um, 
I just did an operation, so while I was sleeping in the recovery room, I saw my late grandmother and grandfather standing right next to me in tears. But I wake up smiling. What does that mean? So essentially what it means, they were there to actually help you um, with with your healing process. Yes, they were crying simply because of, I, I don't think there's actually a parent uh, who'd want to see their kids going through a pain. I mean, um, operation is actually a pain, so it's a painful experience. So for them to be there, remember even during the, the operation, remember you sign, when, when you do an operation, you sign a consent form to say anything can happen. Other people, they go through the operation and they don't come back. They actually just pass pass away. So it would take God's grace um, it will take God's grace. And I mean, if you can check even some of the hospitals where they're doing operations, they actually even have a short prayer or they have a cross in that section simply because of a lot of people do not come back from doing operations. It's not a child's play. Um, we, we might take it lightly and say, ah, I just went for, I remember there's a, there's, there's a lady that I know um, from where I stay who actually went through a process of, it was just uh, a minor operation. She went, it wasn't done well. She went the second time and then she passed away. So with my operation, it's, it's, it's a 50-50 chance of coming back. So yeah, basically your grandmother and grandfather, they were actually lentils there to help you. Okay, how do I know that I have to be a Sangoma and not a prophet? Okay, I think now this question will take me back to what I had explained. So, in terms of knowing how you, you're going to be a Sangoma and not a prophet, in most cases it comes with, again, with your dreams. Um, not just dreams, again, your physical lentils, are, are your physical body, because you might find the Munimuntu would get sick all the time and when you start getting sick um, physically, then you know you burp a lot, then you must know those are the signs of being by Sangoma. You start dreaming of yourself wearing beads, you start dreaming of a mapai, then you must know it's actually you going no return, no back, the start ticket, straight Obongoma. And then um, if you start dreaming of in white, blue, then you must know what to be prophet. So, yeah, basically that's what it means. But often, sis mamaradi, often uh, with that you find Uti, with the gift, it might start small. It might start maybe not small, but let me just say, it might start from a point of mklambe let's say ubungoma. But as time goes on, because now you become uh, a sense of communication, you become a sense of a door to the spiritual world so what happens is when you've opened that one door then you find now a certain person that's why for instance you'd find a moon to i mean i'm up by 10 um i mean by lomgoni i mean by uh you know all those lendoza simply simply because of when one door starts opening pneumonia would come pneumonia would come then you want to start having a whole lot of different beats to acknowledge each and every ancestor they have same applies nurses to it's the same thing you find like now i think i have a my jersey around about 13 if not 14 now and there's still more there's still more simply because of so basically that's what it means okay you need to pass up for him i need to pass up for who says dineo oh you need to pass up for me okay i dreamed of my late dad at ulambile oh oh thank you sister no i think school of being initiated I often dream eating something. So when you dream of eating something, basically, so I'd say you need to see the palace, get something to clean clean yourself because that's not a good thing. And the 
what does it mean when you're constantly dreaming of a white and yellow snake? Is there a particular message being sent? Yes, there is uh, a message, which means your ancestors, basically, they're coming um, as or in a form of that yellow and white snake. So you might find, um, for instance, if I were to do in Tambu for you, um, this rope, basically, I would actually make a white and yellow one. So... In this case, you might find maybe nama beats a yellow and white for ilos lako. So basically, that's what it means. I would make in tambo that is yellow and white, and then mubungo then would have to do ama beats which are yellow and white, and then yeah, I think that's that. What does it mean when you're doing being chased by a baby lion cub? This mampo. Okay. Being chased by a lion, or yeah, being chased by a, a lion cub, whether it's a cub or it's a full lion, it doesn't matter. So basically, what it means in your ancestral spirit, um, you have um, amakosi. Basically, uh, that's when you'll find ipaili le lion. So you'll have to find ipaili lion to acknowledge um, that that lion. Basically, from that point then it's not going to bother you. I'm sure after that, you you start dreaming of a lion sitting with you. So basically, that's what it means. Of course, love. Okay. Next question. How do you keep the connection between you and Aboko Konabom Kulu? I'm having scary dreams that I lose a loved one because they don't support me with this gift. Um, this Karabo. Okay. Now, how do you keep a connection? Now, here's the thing, because with your question, you're actually asking two different things. These are two separate things. How do you keep the connection between um, yourself and Abokoko? It's Pasha, it's praying, basically, that's the connection. You need to pray a lot, Melo a lot. Basically, that's that. Whether Pasha Wako Genzelin or Genzelin Tabini, it doesn't really matter, but basically, that's what it means. Again, that's why I'm saying your question, it has a whole lot of lentils, you know, it has a whole lot of discussion. We can add to that. So by adding in this case, it, it comes back in saying, Uguti, um, you still need to, it's either if Ungagai go twice, then you need to go twice, you know. So basically keeping that connection because it depends. Maybe for somebody else to keep the communication, all they do is in prayer. That's it. They don't want that person to go to twasa. Or, for instance, or for argument's sake, let's say the person saga twasile. So to keep the communication, obviously, it will come back to just upasa and praying. Um, and then, if then get the person, or okay, I'm saying heaven's curriculum that I lose a loved one because they don't support me with this gift. So. In regards to you saying they do not support you with their gift, which stage are you sitting on? Are you sitting in a stage whereby also twasi look a deal and they do not give you support? Or auga twasi, you still need to go your twasa, but they're not giving you support. Now that should be the question. But yeah, in this case I take it with in fact, yeah, according to this garabo blackish, but okay. In this case, Samilo Pagamis is in Dozako, Samilo Ambu is in Dozako, Gini, they do not support you. Let me tell you, um, I'm sure you are, let me see, you fall under the 95% of people who are spiritually gifted who are not supported by their families. 95% of people who have a spiritual gift, they are not supported by their families. They are not, they are not. Um, because this journey is actually a lonely journey, to be quite honest with you. And if you expect your family to be, um, to be there, you know, it's, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not a club. It's not Axis stock fail. I'm sorry to say that, but it's not, um, one has to learn what you're going to be alone in this journey. I mean, even if I can make an example, we can take Jesus. He was alone in the journey, you know. So a spiritual journey is a lonely journey. There is, when it comes to support, 
always look back to the story of Jesus. There's no support. Often we go alone and it's actually that because at the end, your family in most cases comes from the people that you need to help, you know? So it, I think there's a post that I made, which is sometimes we need to de-attach um, from everyone in order for you to find yourself. So in finding yourself, you need to have that strength of de-attaching. Then when you start de-attaching, then you start growing spiritually. And then when you start growing spiritually, in the long run, your family will start coming back when you have completed because um, that will be the way and key for you to be able to communicate or connect with um, your ancestors is Tunya Sako and God basically. So yeah, that's what it means. Okay, says Toby this. Segu pele iminyaga sis sisi fisa iluzi likurume umdana mu uzwa ama voice ama pupo ikanda. Okay. With this, um often Often, in most cases, in most cases, uh, you find a person is spiritually gifted, yes. And then they would expect, they would go through an initiation school, by Sangoma, for instance. They say, you have a gift, and then boom, we are getting your twasa. And then we would expect to teach you program. You move from that school, we play Mokobela, which is not really the case. Move to another school, same thing, same thing, same thing. Years go by. Now, you find Uguti, the problem wasn't actually Uguti, it was Melil Kulumagna, it was Kuluma in that person, simply because of Leomund Unengilos, is Tuna Samanzi, is Tuna Abaluzi, if I can say or use that also. A communication yaki comes from, um, from the head, that's why they'll constantly have a head problem a headache and then also Ninja Bazaki will always give that person a problem so that's how Abalos would actually communicate they will communicate through your ears and also you're gonna have a kind of constantly so what actually helps is for one to go through with scholars come on yes it's true basically the scholars is would actually help would long it also was with the communicate basically if I can use the word because um, how is Tunya communicates is not the same way how Ilos would actually communicate. So um, at times it, it becomes a misdiagnose basically, which would give this solution, whereas it's not the problem. So yes, basically that's what it means. Um, Um, but my instinct in my dream says you don't have a license most if not this has been happening so long ago Uma passed on now when you dream of yourself eating I've explained that part it's a problem now you dreaming of yourself driving a car chances are there was or there was supposed to be a blessing that could have came maybe in a form of a car however lately so lately is actually blocking your blessings so blessings sometimes with dreams because sometimes with dreams communication with dreams is not straight on at times you might find good you the car just simply means um it's your blessings whether it be it it might be shot or it might eat, be whatever so it's actually your blessings however it so lily keeps on blocking you so you need to get help in cleaning your body remove it then into you'll be on the move so basically it might actually mean that and yeah all the best in getting a car uh okay Okay, but sipo. Now, uzalo wembete. Umbuzguti ke wembete ini, 
uh, that's where we need to start asking our our our, our, our question. Um, people who who are born with Edentos or come out with a plus a plus center rather. Um, it it now it's it's a question of when bete in. Um, others to when bete in chanta. It's blessings basically for them. So utoluti uze loko potulu. Basically, um, one will have to slaughter a goat. Find someone who's able to do that. Can we buy take it through a process of slaughtering a, a goat? Then it would unlock your blessings. Mundo basically. And then secondly, again, it comes it comes from a point of saying good um, like me for instance. Um, and all other spiritually gifted people, most we actually born same we, we come with the gift, you know. Sivela and you vela with the blessing to vela wembete, wembete ini, wembete, of course, wembete, whatever. So it comes with the gift. So that's why I'm saying it depends wembete ini. That's where your question should be. So if when they take a gift like myself, obviously it ha you have to go through the spiritual lentils and like men to the spiritual journey being initiated in order to move your gift so that you can start working and start receiving blessings from your gift. Basically, that's what it means. All right. Um, I hope I've, I've answered that uh, in, yeah. Okay, sis Yamgela, how do you know you have found the right people who can help you with a spiritual gift? I believe I have a spiritual gift, but good dial and desire my help from churches, but no help. Please advise, please. Oh, okay. Um, I often say, again, okay, a person can lie to you, however, your spirit doesn't lie. When you go to a place, by the time you, we are, let's say for, for arguments sake, you go for a consultation, by the time you walk out, your spirit should tell you if something you connect with it or you don't. Um, often people go for consultations or go wherever, go to churches and whatnot. And their spirit tells them, mm -mm, it, it's not working. And then instead a person are choosing not to listen to their, their spirit or their voice and then they end up going through or going back and then that's when they actually make a biggest problem because um when, when you start doing that which means now you're going against the voice that's telling you the spiritual guide that's telling you so in most cases listen to your inner voice more than anything if you are not at peace with something it means it's not working for you move on that's why I, I you know when 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 i write my post and i i often say a walk with my spiritual father you know it's a walk you know you you can't get things right the first time you have to move from here to the next place to the next place to the next place you know uh, basically that's how it goes Go back again to the Jesus story. He moved from one place to the next. He moved. He kept on moving. He was there with John the Baptist. He moved. Kalalia, you know, he moved. Simply because of with the spiritual journey, you need to find answers in different places. I'll say this. With churches, you can go to a certain church now your spirit will allow it for a certain particular time simply because of these things that you need to go and learn in the church. And then when your spirit starts saying, don't go back to a church, it's either it's either there's going to be whatever, witchcraft that will just happen. Then you must know which even is Tumiasako doesn't want you to be there anymore. Sometimes you just have a feeling when you're supposed to go to church, on that day, something comes up or on that day, you just get tired. You postpone, you postpone. You must know already your spirit is telling you you don't have to go back there. So you shouldn't feel bad about it simply because of it's a spiritual journey. It's it's a journey. Every church that you go to, there's something you, you, you need to go there and learn. So it's like a profiling. So it's two. Um, 
your your spiritual guide basically is profiling every church information from you know different churches so it will help you even i remember i always make an example with myself i've been to different churches and the reason behind that for me for for argument's sake is simply because because i, I often ask it but why you know i was in this faith mission church all of a sudden i'm in zion all of a sudden you, you know um now it was now a matter of when Ingelo Siam started explaining that, which you know, the reason behind that, when you start healing people, people come from different uh, religion, they come from different gifts or beliefs rather, cultures and whatnot. So it makes sense for you to be able to know all these different backgrounds. That way you'll be able to help people in different lendosa aspects of their journey which makes more sense so never say especially when you're spiritually gifted never really really say this is my church this is my church this is my church ingilos will take you wherever you need to be so you are actually a spirit you flow you move you know basically that's what it means um let's see What does it mean when you dream, uh, Karab? What does it mean when you dream fighting with things? And in the dream, I was praying as well. It simply means the dream is he has explained, you know. Um, it simply means you need to pray all the time. When whenever you pray, these things in the spiritual world that are actually attacking you, and you're not aware, so you need to start praying. That way, you'll be able to actually um. Chase those things away, those whatever animals, lotion, all those things. So that's how you're going to win your spiritual battles. Um, let me just remember. Um, and Kanyamba is it is it uh please just please just change it so that I remember. With in Kanyamba in Ashes is no balega. You know when you're doing these videos things sometimes they just run away. Um all right. What does it mean to dream about your partner stabbing you? Jobang if you don't when you dream of someone stabbing you, chasing you in a spam um needles all those things e kali bungani it 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 press cool it simply means that person is not doing right by you basically that's what it means we are glimmers it's as simple as that Okay, says Kony. For ama pai no mama chazwa mele uchelu ama prophets no ma uwa boni ama pushin wako guze utuni se. Okay. Often um I I always say yes as much as when when you consult I'll tell you guting bona integanje integanje so boni chazel ganje boni chazel ganje go. Again, it comes back to you being able to validate that. Gogunye a prophecy, remember with the prophecy it can come now. And then Mong Island after a while it comes back. Sometimes we find good maybe when we give you prophecy, Guba Guti, maybe when you were still young, you actually dreamed of maybe pai or pupa bukoko but kogama paya so and you never understood. And then when you come for a consultation, then you are told of that. Then your memory starts recalling with no man. When I was young, I actually dreamt of people like this. So basically, that's what it means. It means those people were actually um, showing you what you need to have. So it's pretty much advisable, Uguti, whatever that you are being told, what you need to get. Also, your spirit needs to connect with it. it it's, simply, it's simply that. If it doesn't connect with your spirit, it means two things. It might be, Uguti, it's not yours, or... It is yours, however, the time is not right. So you might find a good for you to connect Naloma by Lao or Amajaz Lao is still going to take 10 years. That is why your young self is still saying, mm -mm, This is not me. But you find 10 years later, 
then you start dreaming of those things. So already you, you would have received a confirmation basically from a, a communication that you once got. And because if I can explain this again, come, coming back with the prophecy, remember prophecy, prophecy tells you what happened in the past, it tells you what's happening currently, and it tells you what will still happen in the future. So you cannot really say something Aiko, you know, it, it's, it, it's not that, um, there's no such thing. At times you find we see the time, because this, the, the spiritual time frame is not like our time. So we'll tell you something now only to find out what will still happen in five years time. And remember this, this, this um, um, Umam Sebin's one time who once told me, at the time I, I didn't even believe I, I had a gift and whatnot. She once told me would I have a gift and one, two, three, this is what's going to happen. Uh, like, I'm not going back to that person. You know what I mean? My life is going well and I don't have time for that. And guess what? Five years later, boom, started seeing things, started hearing voices. You know, it, I, I was just at another world. And I, I actually wanted, I actually tried looking for that person. I couldn't find that person. So I started believing, would you know what? Never take prophecy lightly. Other things that would happen with time. Basically, that's what it means. All right. Um, it's 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 nice, man. Um, basically. Uluju, um, honey, honey, basically it's, it's good things. Sugar, like sweet, you know, it's, it's, it's good things. So honey, it means just good things. But now there's a problem, um, again, in, 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 there might be rather a problem in that because when you, when you dream eating, often it's a problem. It means gunendo whereby Abakili Sayona, which is not good, so, um, which now it's, we, we, we are caught in between two things. Um, honey, which is good, it's a great thing, it's, it's as good as dreaming of yourself eating a cake. But now eating Jayona on its own is actually not a good thing. And that is according to me and my experience. So yes, that's what it means. Um, let's see. Um, uh, Cooper, what does it mean? Mau Pupa of Fagin Tambo, a blue and white, also Nga Pupa, and he says in Konzuina says Zion Gule Gulengi Sway in Tambo, a red. Can you explain? All right, if you're dreaming of yourself wearing in Tambo, blue and white, um, it means that's a source of lentosa, source of light, basically. That's a source of lentosa. It's Tunya Sako. Sase Manzini plus Nengilosi to protect you. So, blue and white, it blue, I think I explained it with the candles again going back. Blue, Imele, it Tunya Sase Lentosa. It's the water spirit, it's the water itself. And then white, it's Ingilosi, an angel. So if you're dreaming of both colors, then you must know which you're drawing, you're drawing power from the water spirits and Ingilos Gangolungolo, straight from God. So basically that's what it means. So dreaming of yourself who says Zayoni, um, which means that's actually church. Now, now, it again depends. If feeling is when she's on doing now, it 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 might mean um maybe a car again in the Zoxesa only two as a says I only when I self again, which means Melo Paramis is two as I guess I only and then in Dambi read if feeling is so on doing often is used for protection against evil spirits. So you might actually use it also as a car um to try and block certain evil spirits. So basically that's what it might mean. Um uh Lu put Lu. What does it mean to dream surrounded by the ocean, sea and also fly in the dream? I've explained this again put Lu. Uh but let me explain again. 
when you're dreaming of yourself being in an ocean or water gee, anything that says water and you're also flying it's too nearly so um it's to ingilos basically ingilos everything that has to do with flying namans in in, in most cases is too much so yes that's how you'd solve a whole lot of problems so i can make an example now when you're dreaming of yourself flying so remember ingilos often is 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 shown with wings right so messi is too ingilosi um that's how you like the drawings of an angel arch, archangel bunny uh, with wings so basically that's what it means so for you when you're going to dream yourself flying which means already you've got wings you, you're flying so you are able to see things happening um across so you might find which now you, you you can actually um dream of let's say maybe a place only to find out where you were flying to that land is still going to happen maybe in 15 years to come or it's still going to happen in 10 years to come or five years to come or six months to come so you yeah which now would explain why sometimes people will have a deja vu moments and go like no man i've seen this place before or i've seen these people before you know there's there's that connection it's like no man why did i see this before then it will go back to the dream that you once had whereby you were flying so when you were flying you were actually seeing those people you're seeing things to come so basically that's what it means you are seeing things to come when you dream of yourself flying what does it mean when you dream of a white snake i explained the white snake again it's too it's an angel which means um your attire your church attire comes in white so you need to get it to get him sharp, eh? um that's why when you, you go in often when we prefer i will tell you to go in to me as i go oh go go well and to get him sharp basically as that snake uh, it comes your ancestor comes in the form of a white snake all right uh now if you are told by a prophet to use all of them but don't understand why what does it mean what do they see um it's it's really pointless to be told i'm i'm gonna say this again it's pointless to go for a consultation and you are told oh seven this are this and you walk out without you even getting clarity or you even understanding why you need to use like a makangela for instance um you are told to use all these candles but you do not understand why i mean sometimes we also need to be fair to ourselves we need to be honest with ourselves we need to be able to ask Uguti, um okay i'm going for a consultation these things i don't understand let me just ask Uguti, okay fine i'm being told Uguti, i need to use all these candles but what are they for ask the person you know um ask ask your healer i i, I think your healer would would also appreciate Uguti umboze. I, I don't think there's a healer who want, who wouldn't want to be asked Uguti, why are they giving a certain solution you know sometimes it's it's just a matter of Uguti, um as as people when we go for consultations we don't ask and we just walk out and yeah you know so ask is gonna help you um so i think i've explained all those candles um uh, what does it mean you don't understand why what does it mean please go back to uh a video again i'm not going to delete the video after this lent i think i've explained a whole lot of things which can help a whole lot of people so i'm not going to delete the video after so you are more than welcome to go back to the video for certain things if you started watching late please go back to the video i'm not going to delete it i'll make sure i'm going to upload the video because there's a whole lot of important uh information that's going to help a whole lot of people right what does it mean when you dream of a big white and yellow snake again um garabo big uh white snake is tunya sako even a yellow one says is tunya sako um they all mean well and 
uh, which means for you to acknowledge them. That's where you're going to draw your power from. You can use a white and yellow candle. So white and yellow candle would actually represent those snakes. So which means that's where you draw your strength from. Uh, Bravosi. Uzwa ganjani uma ingilosi yako isifuna usizi abandu am confused la. Now, uzwa ganjani uma ingilosi yako wants you to help people. You need to start helping people. How do you know? Basically, um, kutimelu usizi abandu, how do you know? Well, <laughs> it's an easy question, but it just became difficult. I don't know why, for some reason. Anyway, basically, when umele usiza bando, ingilo siyako, once you go to usiza bando, firstly, if, if your gift, for instance, is, is, is a prophetic gift, right? Like with me, okay, let me explain my story. So after ingilo came, boom, 2013, fully, full-fledged, boom, sat down on me, boom. Then what happened was, from the next day, when I started going, going to work, um, when I started going to work, I, I rocked up at work. A liftini, there were like six, seven people. I started hearing voices. I started getting information about these people. Basi liftin, I couldn't talk. In fact, Umoya was just so high, I, I couldn't even contain it, you know. And then, fortunately, uh, five people went out of the out of the lift. And then there was this white lady that was left in the lift. And then what happened was I started getting information about her praying a night before. And then when the lift actually opened, I was supposed to go out. And then I was like, uh, please just please just excuse me, but I'm getting this thing. Yesterday you actually praying and I'm getting this um, old man saying he received your prayer. And he just wants you to know that he, he's okay. That lady was like, huh? And then I was like, yo, ish, let me just step back. I think I might just have messed up. Guess what? Immediately, just before the door closed, that lady was like, wait, 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 wait. Yes, 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 yes. Unfortunately, the lift just closed. She was like, yes, 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 yes. And then, yeah, the lift just closed. And she went up and, yeah, I actually went, yeah, we tried looking for each other, we couldn't find each other, but yeah, nonetheless. And then after, what happened was this one get became even like it was super hot. Um, then when when I went back home, um, I remember there's a place um, next to like a spa. So there's a guy a while back um, that I once saw who was actually picking up from from a, a trash bin picking up food from the trash bin. So I, I remember I was sitting, yeah, whatever. And then when I went out, I couldn't find the guy because I wanted to buy him food. So fine, that person bothered me. I didn't know why. I was like, you know what, the day I, I see him again because his feet, born, they, were, they were so, they, they, they were opened, like, like it was just bad. There was blood coming out. That man was in a terrible state. So yeah, that person bothered me for some time, fine. Then, on, on on the second day when I actually came back from work, I said, spa. Then I saw this guy again. Then, okay, unfortunately, I didn't have money at that time. So, I, I didn't know how to help him. Fine, I left. Boom, I went home. When I got home, I started, Ingilo Sam just started coming up. I started lentils. And then they were like, they need me to go and pray for that man. Wait a second. I need to pray for a person who's insane. There's no way. Then it, it happened for three, four days. Every time later my candle, I I have to pray. That man will pop up in my candles. It, 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 it was it was tough. And then eventually I was forced to go and pray for that person. Um and I saw him again in spa and then boom. It was after I came back from work, I went straight to him. And I started praying for him. Fortunately, I had money with me just in case I was wrong. So I started praying for him. And 
the guy actually responded. However, he was talking in a different language altogether. I'd, I'd say he was talking in tongues. That person was talking in tongues. But he could understand what I was saying. And I could actually understand what he was saying, you know. Because even when he was saying thank you, whatever, like I could hear and understand fully what he was saying. And after I actually even lent those, I gave him money. And then as soon as I left, there was this um, Zulu guy that was just standing there in front of a taxi. And then they called me. I was like, eh, why, eh, why would the Baba Baba be there, you know? I was wondering, did I do anything? Then they were like, hand on. Who's the ganja? Who could have been a Lomuntus Nemiaga, it's over five years. Safiga Latin. Lomuntus Casa Simbone Jacuma and Shoneka Melot. Like, they've never seen that person open his mouth and saying even just one word. But, a better in Uguana. Hey, can't Lomutia Kulum? Like, it it became a land. Then, you know, like, I was shocked, but happy at the same time. I was like, no, I, uh, uh, yeah, the Ganinda was. Then I, I just left because I couldn't even. I couldn't even respond to them. I didn't even know what to say. So I was shocked for days. I was shocked for months. I was shocked with the Gandhi praying actually works, you know? Uh, you know, so it was one of those things. So how do you know Prabhu Suguti? You can actually heal people. Um, sometimes it doesn't Zagalela, it, it just happens. And yeah, if, if your gift is ready, you don't need to be told. It just happens. They will push you. Your ancestors or your spiritual guide will just push you to pass a message. That is why at times we'd find people even on the road who just uh, just go to certain people. A person will just come to you and say, go and do one, two, three. And then you'll be like, huh? Actually, you have a problem with one, two, three, four, five. In most cases, you might find which the person who's coming to relay that message to you is actually not even learned or is not even aware which they have a gift. But it's a message that comes at that time whereby they need to learn those pass. And you find which is 100% spot on. Then the person walks out or walks away, rather. And Baba shocked now with themselves. Good. Hey, I told that person and that person actually agreed. Or sometimes maybe they tell you and then at the same time now it's I I know they angazlin to kulumangaza young yeah or whatever, whatever. Maybe you're still going through your thing. But for that person to pass that message, Bona, they are at peace. Their soul becomes at peace. So as soon as you've got messages that you need to pass, um you they're gonna bother you up until you pass them and when you pass them then you're gonna be at ease then you're gonna yeah you're gonna be at ease so that's how you know you need to start working and helping a band you it's not even a matter of which when you come for a consultation then we say is a band it means on that day or at that time you need to start helping people it might happen in five years so it's just a prophecy basically um I think now it's quarter past 10. I'm, I'm going to close the consultation. Oh, in fact, this session, I think, I mean, from half past eight. Um, yeah, from half past eight. I've been talking since half past eight. Wow. Um, okay. Let's give it at least 15 minutes. Then in 15 minutes time, we can finish the consultation. Oh, not cons Yeah, but it is a consultation for everybody. So, yeah. It's a free consultation for everybody. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you for the sessions. We really needed that. My question is, what is the difference between who tapisa linyuloi and who kupula esitunwa? All right. Now, uh, this is okay. Who tapisa linyuloi, basically, um, It can be a good see this let's say maybe for instance as I was explaining um the part or point whereby I would say um you start praying for people for bad things to happen to people, which means already Ingilo Siako gets dented. Ingilo is um your guide starts getting dented. 
because they're doing things they're not supposed to be doing, which is things which are bad to harm. Because let's not forget, the whole point of Liniloi or Istunwa is to do good, to help good, you know? So when you start doing bad things, then you start harming Liniloi Lahao. So it is therefore important for Liniloi Lahao to be cleansed off those bad vibes, those bad energies. Again, not just you doing bad things, you find okay, these bad things that are done unto Lingeloi Lahao, so it needs to be purified from bad energies. And when it comes to bad energies, they constantly come. It, it's not even something whereby um, it's a once-off thing, you know? So that is why it's important for one to constantly go through, or every once in a while, go through back to go medicine or lo thapa, which helps constantly to purify lingilu how. And then hul pamisa at the same time. O pamisa it now depends ul pamisa for ing, which is in this case, so that you can be able to see even furthermore kahona o propheta even more or oh, maybe we are our prophet, you know. So we need to promise to yourself so that it it can maintain that level of prophecy, basically. Or oh, maybe you in a little house, some paneling one. That's why maybe at times we'll dream of one. So you need to promise. So now the process of promise in a little, which now entails going back to, for instance, uh, going back to what I had explained earlier, which is even going to a church is going to help because the more you sing um, the more they preach and whatnot, it helps you know, that's why at that time you might actually feel like crying, you know, you're going to feel all kinds of emotions um, I feel like your spirit is leaving your body all those things was especially with our cooker again you know you're gonna start feeling all those things which means so it's another way of also again going commenting constantly it helps to connect with so it actually helps yes so basically i hope i've answered that question um all right Okay. Okay. I'm not sure if I understand this question. Okay. 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 Now, in terms of dreaming of people we wearing the church Lendoza outfit, how do we then distinguish whether it's meant for you or not? Here's a question. If you dream of yourself wearing, let's say now you're wearing a speaker or you're wearing a white duke, how are you going to see yourself with you wearing a duke? There's no way you're going to see yourself, right? So often with Lingeloi or Istunyasako or yes, the communication from the spiritual world will come from at the next person wearing. So basically when you see somebody else wearing that, which means those are meant for you. That's why it's coming in your dreams. So basically that's that's basically what it means. More often than not, that's how, that's how uh, spiritually things are communicated. I hope I've answered that part. Um, Uh, Mr. Matlazi, I have a problem of forgetting my dreams every time when I wake up. Sometimes I remember the dreams in the afternoon or the next day. Um, often forgetting dreams, especially, you might find maybe where you stay, or on your correct, there's, there's just bad energies, bad spirits, so they will actually create, um, learn to um 
they will actually close or rather make you forget your dreams, right? That is why when you leave the house, you actually leave the house and obviously when you go outside, you start getting clear energies, you start getting clear thoughts and whatnot, whatnot. Then boom, they start coming back, your dreams start coming back. Um, or the next day they start coming back. It's simply because of the space you were at, a kaya, was actually a problem. So that is why you would forget. At times you find when a person forgets, yes, it, it might be evil spirits in the house blocking you from seeing things that are actually happening. Um, at times you might find Uti, the biggest problem is actually worth, um, going to watch this thing, it's it's with um, you yourself. Mzimbawako, it's dirty. You, you need cleansing. So yeah, or there's things that you eat that are not good for your system. So it's a whole lot of cleansing process that has to happen. Um, yes. So basically, that might be actually the problem why you forget your dreams. All right. All right. Uh, says Kanye, after realizing that I have a gift regarding the dreams that I'm having, which is dreams of pythons and water, is there a step that I should take? What is it that I must do next? Okay. Often when you start having such dreams, it doesn't mean that you just jump off your, your, your set and go and consult or expect things to happen now. Go, go, you, you, you can actually start dreaming of water and snakes. You find it, it, it happens maybe over a period of a year. And then something, you know, ancestors of God or Mangiloe, they always find a way to put you in a space whereby you can go and consult. And when you go and consult, whether it is going to come in a form of a relationship, maybe you start having problems with the person that you love so bad and it makes you want to go and consult. Or maybe you start having problems with your finances. Maliako just disappears. You don't know what's happening with your money. Then you go and consult. Or they start, like, Ulandelo Ama party, or these things just in following you. Maybe problems at work, you do not know. And then something just says, or someone just says, Bona, Bona says, can you just go and consult? Hey, man, there's no way life I can, you know, or you start having accidents. Then someone just recommends for you to go and consult. Then at that time, that's when Mozo, yeah, your consultor, would say, but why am I getting my accident? Or why am I having a problem? Because I lost my job. Then you find out, you say, Bona, yes. When you a gift that you need to follow, that's basically how you, you start getting um, land or you start following land. Then the person probably who's consulting you will tell you what you need to do. Um, basically, is that not unless if then get, um, even now you just want to go and consult just to verify maybe where you go and consult, they can actually help you. Oh, now I'm tired of talking. And mind you guys, I talk throughout the entire day. Throughout the entire day. Um, I hope people can understand. Not to see me not responding to your messages or phone calls. I'm not, you know, I, I saw another post the other day, I actually laughed. Someone was saying, Hi, I just respond. A, I can ask Katin, she said to in, 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 um, someone, someone was saying, yeah, bonk, 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 they don't respond, bonk, he TV. <laughs> oh, wow. So, basically, guys, if I can just say, in a day, in a day, messages that come through, I'm just one person trying to help help as much people as I can, you know? And in a day, if I I'd, I'd, I'd tend to between rather 20 to 60 people in a day, it's, it's, not, it's not easy, you know? It's, it's not easy. And it, it takes a lot for one to be able to learn to, um, to go through the entire day talking and trying to deal with people's problems. Now you can imagine 
um, if in a day you're looking at, let's say at, at, at the most, 60 people, you have over 10,000 messages coming through. There's absolutely no way one person can be able to attend to Wongumundu. There's absolutely no way. Uh, as much as would love to attend to everybody, there's no way. So uh, please, please, please also ask you, um, yes, you need help. So does the next person. So does the next person. And don't forget, we, healers also are people, you know. We also go through a whole lot of things apart from having to sit and consult people. We also have certain things that we also go through whereby, um, I mean, helping people already, you, you're opening yourself to to people hating you for no reason, to people uh, back target, you know, you, you go through a whole lot of things. So um, that on its own is not an easy task. Uh, ask any healer. It's it's not an easy easy task. Not to go to, um, we, we do not want to respond, but trust me when I say every day, that's what I do. When from, from the moment I wake up, I have to, attend to people up until the day or at the end of the day. So you can imagine, even on my supposedly off days, today's a Wednesday, I was supposed to be off, but I'm not off, I have to go and work, you know? So it's, it's, it's basically that I can safely say I work seven days a week, basically. I attend to people seven days a week. It's just that people do not know, you know? So, Let's not be, especially for people who would send messages which are very eh, rude, so to say. Uh, let's respect each other because at the end of the day, as much as one is a healer, as much as one has to help people, let's not forget we also, we also human at the end of the day. We also, you know, we also deal with a lot, dealing with people's problems, every day trying to solve people's problems is not a child's play so please 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 um i try as much as i can to respond to people um yeah i try as much as possible but at times there's, there's no way you can attend to everybody there's no way we can help everybody you know there's, there's absolutely no way um um one doesn't want to help. You start posting a, a photo, um, then it's a problem. It's like a consultation. You know, it's 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 not that. Please, 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 just it, people. If we can just understand, there's there's a whole lot of people. Um, there's there's a whole lot of people. You can imagine if I'm saying there's over ten thousand Facebook messages that are coming through every day. My WhatsApp messages is over 3,000. That's why I created my auto response messages because there's no way I can respond to all, all, like everyone, all those messages and phone calls. I don't even respond to that phone because the 072 number, since 2019, that phone rings every two seconds. People would actually even call the number, even 3 a.m. So that is why I, I choose to just switch it off at times. So. That's why I'm just begging you to please, 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 before we can actually have those uh, nasty messages. And yeah, please just understand, there's, there's a whole lot of people um, that daily I'm trying to attend to. The, yes. So yeah, anyway, thanks for that part. Um, let's see if I can answer. Okay, it's almost actually half past. So I'm about to close. Um, I'm about to close this session now and thank you so much for joining me. Um, let me just try and respond to maybe two or three questions and then, yeah, let me just see if I can get two or three. But yeah, I trust a whole lot of people have managed to find answers in this session. I hope you've managed to find answers. Um, yeah, and then... I'm going to try and make another session, maybe, I'll see. If tomorrow I come back and I'm not tired, I'll make another one. But if I'm tired, please get, 
uh, you'll have to bear with me up until I can gather strength to be able to do another video. Um, yeah, because hey, I, I get tired. I get tired. I don't even have time for myself, to be quite honest. That's how tired I get. When I get home, I just sleep, you know? Um, yeah, it, it's, 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 it's very much lento. Um, it's, it's a tiring, tiring uh, lento journey. But again, um, let's see. Uh, point, so what does it mean to remain using a white candle and sniff right at the corner of Inju? Of my late grandmother, basically, usuge upasha. You dreaming of yourself, upasha. Um, upasha, which means now you're connecting. You're trying to connect with your late grandmother, Ganjalu. So upasha, basically, that's what it means. So they're showing you where you need to do that in order for you to connect with them. So yes. Uh, okay. Let's see. Okay, Gatleo, please touch on praying with water. Now, okay, that's actually a good one. Now, praying with water, uh, lights. Now, praying with water, it's it's a gift on its on its own. Firstly, right? Um, that that gift. Um, these these people who are gifted with with water. There are people who are gifted with fire. Remember, there's a video I once made explaining the four elements of life. So it's water, fire, air, and earth. So praying with water is one of the elements of, of the spiritual world or the earth itself. And then um, praying with candles also. Uh, it's fire and water. So I, it, it's a gift. Seven um, is actually a gift on its own. Um, and then there's a comment I saw this thing, please behave. <laughs> yeah, Ingrid. Mm, I agree. Mm, this boost must behave. You are such a great blessing. Now we almost see a bong. I got must behave. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let us behave in, please. <laughs> so coming back, um praying with water. Basically, if you have water spirits. Um, normally you'd place your water next to candles, basically candles would light the way and then water would actually help for your spirit guides, Basse Manzini, um, f for them to have a place or home in that water, basically. So you will see water, okay, but we'll say it's evaporation process after a couple of days, it starts lendosa, uh, yeah, ayapela, manz, ayapela, ayapela, which... Yes, we'll say evaporation, yes, good, scientifically. But again, coming from the spiritual world, we can also say it's is drinking that water constantly or every day, rather. So water helps. You can, you can pray for water for people who are sick. If you are gifted in that, it will help heal people with just water. Others, by them just uttering certain words to you, you'll be healed. So that is more, yeah, that's the A um, gift. And then this using candles also, which lighter my candles, we can do candle reading. Um, people can, yeah, with just candles also, they can communicate with people who are no longer there. So candle, candles, which is light, Basically, it's another gift. So, yeah, I think I've explained that part. Yeah, I think now we're done. I think I've covered all the questions thus far. Um, Uh, right. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't know. But yeah, I'm glad your mom is okay. Um, we we'll pray for your sister more than anything. Please pray for your sister. Um, Thank you. You guys are actually blessing me by just tuning in. Um, 
you've made this you, you know you've just made my night for you've just made my night with the questions and you know um your questions actually helped this session because i didn't even know what i was going to talk about but i knew uh if i had you guys on my side with the questions then it was going to help me also to have something to discuss so yeah you guys actually a blessing to me more than anything i appreciate all your questions i appreciate all your questions so 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 much so much so much um since for giving us more of your time in the freebie if i can say so <laughs> no thank you thank you for a freebie um yeah thank you so much um thank you thank you thank you so much i think i've i've learned to uh let's see this is the last question because i can't find any more questions i think now we could uh can you please clarify for me i've been dreaming of some women who always gives me three colored candles white yellow and blue and she tells me to pray with them question is what could it possibly mean okay white yellow and blue candles i explained this lento uh, i've explained it already uh simple but again yeah, i'll just say it again the blue candle like if you are using all three of them at once the blue candle stands for your ancestral from your paternal side and then the yellow one stands for um your your lendosa your ancestral spirits from your mother's side and then the white one stands for lingilu oh sorry lingilu straight god straight so these three combined they actually help you ukopansa lingiloi oh in fact not ukopansa yes ukopansa because at at that time you're calling all of them um you're calling all of them so those candles basically that's what they mean so if you dreamt of them giving you those candles basically they're giving you power to connecting with them on the other side so whenever you pray use them so in this case if maybe i can just say say this um if i'm gonna say to you now pasha um pasha she's in purple and pasha your ancestors gave you candles to use and i come and tell you which might actually be a bit of a problem because your ancestors didn't say pasha but they give you candles to pray so sometimes with with lentils especially when you are shown by your ancestors it helps for you to follow what your ancestors show you or tell you so for them to give you that which means bab killing a loi la moya la rapela la tapelo um yeah it, it, yes killing a loi la tapelo basically on his tune so now the question is what were they wearing so you might find what they were wearing white uh, or they were wearing blue also you know so which means it's things that you need to get so killing a little basically that's what it means uh, <laughs> uh, i dreamt of water pulling me it was in a cave i prayed like never before could it mean water spirit it was bad spirit i hope i get an answer okay so basically you know you just spoke about something else with caves um water pulling you in the caves you might find or in fact not you might find you have to go to a cave basically and pray there so when the water is pulling you which might actually mean that's where you need to come you need to come to you need to come to the cave so you going to the cave that's where you're going to get um or, or, or basically your power of praying so the cave is actually calling you that's where you need to go that's what basically what it means so it's going to help you again in terms of keep a memoria and and whatnot so um let me see what else 
yeah it's you know uh since there's no any other question um this is almost the same thing as when i was explaining um a person who was saying they were chased by a cup a lion a cup so the reason why they were chased by a cub is because they need to acknowledge that they have ancestors in fact yeah they have ancestors of lions which is ubukosi so which means they need to get ibai lamakosi lili lion in order to acknowledge that lion and then as soon as they do that that lion is not going to chase them anymore because they would have acknowledged it so in this case you will also have to acknowledge the cave for you to be able to grow spiritually so i take it it's one thing that you fear the most right now uh Comment. I was dreaming seeing some lady in the mall and she told me that I must wear two dyes black and red and the shawls or shells I take it those are shells so basically um, you must wear two dyes black and red black and red might actually mean you need to get ama beads black red black red ama beads basically and the shells I take it those are the shells we mean shells not shawls um shells basically it means get it down that lady was giving me squama so bongo basically that's what it means uh, uh thank you for the session i didn't see your question though i think i didn't see your question i'm sorry about that i'm sure because like there were like 100 messages that came at once so i didn't see your question i'm sorry about that hopefully i'll get to see it again okay no man what does brown beads mean so brown beads basically means uhamba nabu mkulu the ancient um the ancient land or uh, spirit spiritual guiders so basically brown beads that's what they mean which means even if we were to pray in gapanga gamoya i'll say use a brown candle in order to acknowledge abu mkulu lababakdala oh good luck in relationships because zobu mtu is mame una maketa Bona, you're gonna constantly have problems with um with males because abum kulu often um abum kulu often they actually learn to um they actually don't like to be in a space of other men so this is why most women about petro amakesha in most cases they struggle when it comes to relationships uh cut we have problems too many problems in my family and everything i do go milenji please go and consult kati it's gonna help you um okay i'm cool i constantly dream of my two late grannies in the dream they are always sleeping and do not look happy in the last dream they were naked what does it mean abokoko so um in this case often when you dream of a person or, or who is not naked especially if they are alive um you, you might find there's something they are doing which is not good so in this case Abokoko ba kunjo ba ba banga seko and they are actually naked and they are not happy. It might tell you there's a problem in or where they are buried. So two problems. Maybe the first one might be maybe agna ma tombstone. They never did ama tombstone. So ba fana jenga bantu aba abanga koga anga ba funu kodi so from where they are. So basically, it might actually mean that there might be a problem. 
stones are which needs to be sorted um yeah it, it might be just it's actually that there's a problem that needs to be sorted so you just need to find uh it's either go back to the cemetery and see what's happening sometimes you might actually even find with maybe if there are tombstones there they're actually falling they, they're falling apart so Abu Koko is trying to show with hey, sinking up high emva. You know, you need to come and sort that problem out. So, or maybe it's been ages since you guys went to the gravesite. So they want you guys to come and see them. That's why they're not happy. And when they're not happy, with time they're gonna start or things will start going bad for you guys because you got a message to say they are not happy. Alina, speak to me. Alina Mutsamaya, I need to speak to you. Your message is just saying that um, I do not know how to speak to you now. Okay, but you made how do you deal with being hated by people because of your gift? As is Tunya, what are the implications to you as a person and your gift of not knowing your father and dealing with ancestors you don't know? Hmm, good question. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm Okay. Um, so basically, Uma own is It's a very common what people can just hate you. It's very common. Um, you might be hated by actually even your siblings, uh, your family as a whole. They can actually hate you. So basically, in this case, it's either maybe Istunya Sako needs attention. When you find with the istunya or ilos lako can create problems for you in order for you to go and seek help or seek answers. So you will definitely have to go and find out with the, what is the problem. You might find out with the, again if it's not a problem with istunya, you find with the, the problem is with you. and you're not away. So when people start back back zone for no reason there's 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 something you need to check um gogunye it it just means you are growing spiritually and people cannot keep up with that they have a problem with that so yeah that's what it means and not uh let me see as is true yeah, what are the implications to you as a person and your gift of not knowing your father and dealing with ancestors you don't know so if you do not know your father in this case because often would would tell you goody, um or your ancestors um they still is or yeah they're not coming together properly so in that case it's either maybe the person who's consulting you might have a solution for you or if they don't have a solution for you it it would be a matter of mele uyo pasha from your mother's side so you need to call upon the spirits from your mother's side so what i'd also suggest is get the blue yellow and white candles even if you go to or next to a river side river yeah river um or intervene you just pray pray with those candles and call upon the spirits your father's spirits and also your mother's spirits and just say with you you know what when i was little you're just a child um please they shouldn't block your path be simply because of that you know nothing about your father so and then just leave the candles there so that might actually be a solution to your problem and then how do you deal with ancestors you don't know so basically that's what you can actually do take those um three candles blue yellow and white go to entabini a uh, mountain or a sun or a man zinim fully you know or if next to an ocean go to an, an ocean pray up pray with those candles or partly and just stay to it you know what I, i'm not denying anybody but i just learned or, um i've done nothing wrong i'm just a child uh, and please do not block my blessings i need to put in him for the so basically it's that Ha, 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 ha. I know about it too. I need to wake up. I still need to pray now. I still need to pass. Uh, okay. Um, but it's 
if upupa umuntu othandana naye egoqe emnyango olala kuwo njengomakoti kuchazana it means if if you're dreaming of 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 your of your partner be it your girlfriend she's kneeling next to your door and yeah she's just kneeling and praying lap or whatever which means she's praying to be umakoti she's praying to be your partner um basically that's what it means she wants to come in and she wants you to marry that to marry them basically that's what it means okay guys and honestly 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 in five minutes i'm 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 gonna cut um i'm gonna cut this uh it's sasa i i need to sasa i definitely have to learn to i have to wake up as i need to pray now okay let me see if we can take five more questions then i should be done for the day um Cool. What does it mean to dream of a big house with lots of rooms? Um, okay, dreaming of a big house, it actually depends again what's happening in that big house. Um, you might find Uti, the big house you're actually dreaming of. That's where you, your, um, remember, a big house is actually a growth of some sort. So you might find which maybe that's where your ancestors are actually sitting there's a growth that's about to happen in your life spiritually there's that growth that might actually happen which reminds me of these people who by the dream of themselves in Shambi, going from let's say maybe it's a, it, it's a double story house taking steps going to an upper level it means spiritually they are growing or oh, you're dreaming of yourself or give a lift uh, or escalators, which means spiritually you are growing. Basically, that's what it means. Uh, and this, um, Kulung Pupa Manzo Luanja all the time, but in King I am, I'm personally not friend with water. What does it mean? It simply means you have, um, you have water spirits, which means you need to overcome that fear for you to be one with your spiritual guides that's what it means often when um often people who dream of water or snakes you find which they are they are definitely scared of water they are scared of snakes basically it happens it often happens like that simply because of that's where you need to um you need to get your your powers basically spiritual powers um yeah basically that's what it means so when you overcome that then you would have overcome life itself. So as soon as you go to the water, you would have overcome your greatest fear, which I can take you back to, again, I'll make a Jesus example. When Jesus talks about, uh, or when he makes, when he says, when you see a mountain, tell the mountain to move. And yeah, he says that, and it, he asks the mountain to move, and then the mountain moves. So basically what it actually means is, you need to overcome your biggest fear when you start going to the water it would be good as you telling the mountain to move and from that time or point you would have overcome your fear which means fear won't exist now you'll be rolling with faith there will be more faith happening more than anything all right uh butos why chain I need help. Uh, we are really blessed to have you in our life for clarity. Thank you. Bayete siyabonga kulo koko. I'm going through hell, Alina. I ask is he going through hell? I'm sorry, going through hell. If upupa umuntu tanda na na yoku teleno, I've read this again. It's coming back. Uh, spooling. What does it mean when you dream? Uh, passing faces amakaka is totally so as soon as you dream of okaka you dream of yeah it's it's just this street so you need to get yourself cleansed konalo sekak tumelang is street so basically okay now please tell what does it mean to dream of being chased by a dog that's on a leash owned by an old man stan who was very angry so 
Now, it, it will also depend what color the dog is. So I take it in this case, that dog is brown or white. Um, the reason why I'm saying that, because Gunalungkulu, that's standing there, which means that dog is basically. Uh, there's something you are not doing right or that you still need to do basically so i'd advise you to go and consult and find out what is missing from your ancestors um because remember with with a dog often we keep dogs as pets so if you're going to dream of a dog um yeah which is this this is actually a very interesting thing um dogs remember their spirits and with dogs often we find our friends in dogs dogs become a part of our lives and even when when like they grow older and whatnot when they're going through pain when they're going through whatever where the dog dies we feel the pain too you know why because dogs are actually spirits and as they are spirits even when they die we still remember them after a while we go like yes you know nga poopa or oh, I enjoy it, you know, you know, you always remember the dog. It it becomes basically um goes in in a way. So when you dream of that basically it might actually just mean Uguti. There's something you need to sort out from Ilos Lago, basically. Uh right your eyes. Show that you're tired, but yo, I'm drained. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. So I said five minutes now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. 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 Took us. I'm cool. I dreamed that my world was breaking into two. Then the sky went gray. It started raining heavily, and myself and another spirit form walked toward the cemetery. My heart was so so during that time. Exactly a month. After that dream, my mom passed away. Ask is so basically they were actually showing you, Guti, someone was gonna pass away. I'm sorry, which means the dream is actually hundred percent accurate. Um, it's a gift. That's a gift on its own. I don't have dreams, and I always wake up at three every night. So basically, waking up at three is Tunyasako is is try, is waking you up so that you can pray, which means. Yeah, that's actually affecting or destroying or closing your dreams. So you need to at least, you need to get cleansed, you know, you need to get cleansed so that you can start remembering your dreams. Um, yeah, so it's Tunya Sako basically is just telling you, Guti, you need to pray at 3 a.m. Cool, I tend to Kati, but Kati, I'm not seeing any of your messages uh why is that every time uti uya uyo consult unga tolu sizo uma uti uya is in seven zwini but on that day upupa uti unga ilapo it happens every time so um it means two things it's two things that could be happening. Um, we find people who, who are spiritually gifted, right? Whereby they can go to all the healers and they're not going to help, going to get help simply because of Ilo's Laki or the ancestors basically. Um, they don't want to see as well. They don't want they, they don't want to see as well. Um with time they're gonna start giving you um your own methods of healing people. So they do not want to be helped by other people, especially when you find um the healer maybe you go to um spiritually they actually younger than you or they are they actually less than a month when when you don't know so your ancestors will tell you you don't go there you know um, or whatever that person cannot help you so yes it, it actually becomes that and always too you might find Uti, these umoya 
umubi, whether bakufagi spog or whatever that would stop you from going and getting help. So it's actually two things. So yeah, you need something that you need to pray about. And especially if your life is not going right, I'd suggest you try knocking on doors. Sometimes you, you need to just um, not listen to that voice and see if you cannot um, see if whoever healer that you go to cannot try and help you. Because sometimes um, if Ufagu Ilwani, Ilwani will tell you not to do this because they know if you go there, they actually going to be taken out. You're going to get healed. So at times it's, it's, it's just tricky. But I just say to you, um, if you're going through problems, just go and see. You'll take it from there, you know. Okay. Uh, okay, Pamela, did you answer the one of dreaming about a lot of white people in Indians and being underwater from Mozambique, but being able to breathe? So basically dreaming of white people in Indians, basically what it means uh, for you in this case, that's why you would actually even dream of people as far as Mozambique. Remember, Mdao comes from your Mozambique. So that's basically what it means when you start dreaming of white people and Indians um, and water. It's it's Mdao spirits that you, you possess. Uh, so I dream someone show me two rings gold and I hear voices for your husband and he wants to marry you but not now that dream is self explanatory it's 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 exactly that which means the time is not now so you might also want to find out the what's maybe blocking um, that from happening so maybe you might need cleansing in order for that to start happening okay jessica i don't dream at all i don't even dream about grandparents does that mean they turn their backs on me if you don't dream at all how would you then say they've turned their backs on you if you don't dream at all? The problem is with you. So you need to get cleansing, then you can start dreaming, then you can start calling upon your um, your ancestors, you can start calling upon Abum Kulu, then only then you'd know if, um, then you'd know if they've turned your backs or not. You, you just need to clean, get cleansed. Which cave should you go to? At times, when the time is right, you'll go to the cave. Um, there will be something that would just make sense for you to go to the cave. It doesn't necessarily mean good now. You need to just wake up, sasa, make arrangements, and go to the cave. You might go to the cave and it's not the right time. They are not there, so it, it would be pointless. At times, it should be something that would would call you, you know? Uh, when you're saying uh, you have a calling, something like the spirit needs to call you in in doing something. It shouldn't be just a matter of I dreamt of it today or somebody told me something, Namtanji. It means it needs to happen today. No, it doesn't mean that. Um, it, it will start calling you, you know? Something, it, it will start calling you, it will push you. Uh, maybe in two months' time or whatever, or maybe you might find yourself having friends or near somewhere and then something or alfita mode you find yourself you next to a cave you know or someone just says ah man you know what we have we've planned in teganja we need to go to such a place and then you find yourself going to a cave so it it needs to call you more than anything so i can't really say now but uh you need to go to who to take you to the cave your spirit needs to confirm that
uh, to me of helping a lot of people sometimes people come to you with problems and we just talk so often more next to you it, it it actually happens like that people will just come to you and you'll always have a solution to every problem basically which means it's not you talking it's your guide talking and always remember your guide wouldn't send someone to you whom you cannot help at times you just need to say whatever that's there and basically it's that whether a person takes it or not it's 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 up to them when as long as you pass on the message that's all that matters um guys thank you so much thank you so much uh now now i definitely need to sleep i think um i've done more than more than more than more than what i i can for the day um thank you so much for joining me um thank you so much for joining me god bless you all and yeah i'm gonna try as soon as i get time again we'll make another session uh hopefully it's not gonna be that long i'm gonna answer more questions i'm gonna keep the the, the video uh um yeah i'm gonna save the video so that you guys can watch it anytime you feel like watching it thank you so much and as time goes on um i think some of the i'll see maybe i need to start creating content for youtube also um yeah and by it my cousin i see in john jane by it thank you so much for joining me um go bantu bakulayo go bantu abaninkinga uh whether it's financial problems whether you're going through marital problems um whether you're going through abuse whether you're going through um family you know not supporting you whether you're going through emotional pain depression um you know i you can tell you guys must just pray pray all the time um just pray you know as much as he does a day more than anything you also need to pray for yourself pray for everything that you need pray for everything um god is there you know god god is there better believe that thank you so much have a blessed 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 night thank you for joining me good night bye day